I think I'll start where I left off yesterday in Timothy, because this is Paul, Paul the Apostle, writing to his son, Timothy, his spiritual son. And at the end of this chapter, in chapter 4, 2 Timothy, he's just telling him, I've finished my course. He's got his head held up high, saying, I've kept the faith and that there will be a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing. That should be you and me, my friend. But he went on to say how Demas had forsaken him, having loved this present world, and is departed they parted ways and then he said Luke is with me and Mark is with me and he is now profitable for the ministry and he says Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil the Lord will take care of him and then he says at my first answer no man stood with me boy that's a lonely place isn't it and this is Paul speaking, saying at my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge. They were the ones that chose not to stand with him, that they departed, parted ways and left him. But here's the sweetest thing, my friends. It says, notwithstanding the Lord, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. Wow, how about that? The Lord himself stood with Paul and strengthened him. And that, my friends, is our promise. How many of you have felt that when it seemed all forsook you, all parted ways? There was nobody standing with you, but the Lord himself came and stood by your side and wiped away your tears and held you like that warm burrito wrapped up in his love. Amen. Amen. He'll never leave you or forsake you.